right, folks, this is pretty cool. If you're into AI writing or coding, this is something you don't want to miss. OpenAI has introduced a brand new feature called Canvas, and I think it could be a real game changer. I've checked out the demos and all the inside details, so let's break this all down, guys. If you've used ChatGPT before for writing emails or coding, you know it's pretty good, but it can struggle with more extensive, complicated tasks. OpenAI has noticed this, and now they've developed Canvas, a fresh interface that goes beyond the basic chat setup. Basically, Canvas gives you a shared workspace, so instead of typing commands and waiting for responses, you now have a dedicated area to create text or code. So you can highlight specific sections, and the AI can give you suggestions, edits, or even do complete rewrites. So what's the deal with access? Well, right now, Canvas is in beta for ChatGPT+, and Teams users, those on enterprise or EDU plans will get access next week. Eventually, it will roll out to everyone, including the free tier. But for now, it's available only with a paid plan, folks. Using it is straightforward. You can manually select GPT-4.0 with Canvas from the model picker, or ChatGPT can recognize when Canvas would be useful for your project and open it up for you. If you're working on something lengthy or complex, Canvas will automatically pop up or you can simply type use Canvas in the chat to open it up whenever you need. Now, folks, for all you writers out there, I truly think this feature is going to shake up your world. Get this. During the demo, OpenAI's product manager, Daniel Levine, showed how Canvas can be used to draft emails. So when you ask ChatGPT to write an email, instead of just getting it in the usual chat format, it opens up in the Canvas window. And that's where the fun begins. You've got all these tools right there. And if the email feels too long, you can use a slider to tweak the length, making it shorter or longer. You know, folks, I think this is a really good upgrade from the point of view of correction, and especially in terms of saving time. Before this update, if you wanted to edit or slightly correct a prompt, you would basically have to tell ChatGPT to rewrite everything, or almost everything, and that's laborious. Anyway, here's the cool part. You can highlight any sentence and ask ChatGPT to make it sound friendly and throw in some emojis to lighten up the tone. And you can even translate the whole email into another language right inside Canvas. It is super versatile. Another nifty shortcut for writers is the final polish option because it checks the grammar, clarity, and consistency of your draft. So you're ready to send it or publish it without having to go over every single word. It's like having your own editor on call. Want to sprinkle some emojis into your text? There's a shortcut for that too. And if you're working on something longer, like a blog post, ChatGPT can suggest inline edits, point out areas for improvement, or even rewrite the entire thing. Plus, you can switch between different versions of your text. So if you don't like the changes, just roll back to an earlier version. It's no hassle. Now, if you're into coding, folks, this is where Canvas really shines because, sure, many of us have been using ChatGPT for quick coding help or API generation, but we know it's not always the best for bigger projects. So with Canvas, OpenAI has added features that make coding even more collaborative and easy to manage. Here's what it does. When you generate code, it shows up in the Canvas window and you can instantly add comments with a simple button click. Super handy for inline documentation. You can even highlight a section of code and ask ChatGPT to explain what that block is doing or answer specific questions about it. But it gets even better. There's also a review code button that scans the entire script and suggests specific edits. If ChatGPT spots a bug or sees room for improvement, it'll offer suggestions and you can choose to approve, tweak, or reject them. If you decide to go for it, ChatGPT will try to fix the code on its own. So basically, you're not just helping, you're actively collaborating with AI to refine the code. Other coding tools include adding logs, comments, fixing bugs, and even converting your code to a different language. You can switch between Python, JavaScript, PHP, Java, C++, and more. And if you ask me, that is pretty amazing. 
Now, folks, this whole Canvas concept is part of a much bigger shift in the AI world because uh, ChatGPT and other AI models aren't just about spitting out answers anymore. We're entering an era where AI acts as a real collaborator. Think about it for a moment. AI chatbots have been great, but they've always had their limits. Managing large projects from a single prompt, not really possible. You still have to go back and forth, tweaking things, sometimes even starting over. Canvas changes all that by making the refining process seamless. Instead of just prompting, you're editing and iterating directly in the Canvas window. OpenAI isn't alone here. Anthropic's artifacts came out a few months back, and Google's Gemini is on a similar track. And, you know, all these companies are racing to build the best collaborative AI workspace. And, honestly, it's pretty thrilling to see where it's all heading. Here's a fun tidbit, guys. Some of the folks behind Canvas aren't even with OpenAI anymore. John Shulman, one of the co-founders, left in August to join Anthropic, which is actually a direct competitor. And just before Canvas launched, former CTO Mira Marathi and VP of Research Barrett Zoff also stepped down. Despite all that, OpenAI seems pretty confident because at a recent press event, OpenAI's chief product officer, Kevin Wheel, said this isn't slowing them down at all. In fact, he believes 2025 is going to be the year we all see AI systems really go mainstream, not just as tools, but as digital agents that can go out and handle tasks on their own. So what's next for OpenAI and Canvas? This beta version is just the beginning, folks. OpenAI plans to make Canvas even smarter with faster triggers for when you might need it and better accuracy in pinpointing what needs editing. They've also hinted at adding more advanced features like improving transparency and coding edits, so it's easy to track what changes the AI makes. They've trained GPT-4.0, the engine behind Canvas, using synthetic data. That means the model learned from AI-generated data to figure out when to activate Canvas and how to make targeted edits. Then they ran over 20 automated evaluations, and according to OpenAI, this significantly boosts how well the model collaborates on both writing and coding. One of the toughest parts was teaching the AI when to make a quick targeted edit and when to go for a full rewrite. They've tuned the model to only rewrite if it's absolutely necessary, especially with coding, and this kind of fine-tuning is crucial because, let's face it, nobody wants an AI that over-edits or changes everything when just a small fix would have worked. Overall, folks, the competition between OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google is really heating up, and we're in for some amazing innovations in the coming year. If you're curious about what Canvas can do, definitely give it a try if you're on Plus or Teams. For everyone else, keep an eye out because this feature will roll out to all users once it's out of beta. All right, folks, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and let me know in the comments, what do you think about Canvas? Are you planning to try it out? Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.